Alright. Uh, let's see the fix of the mic there, but nah, um, I'm back. No major updates. More or less the same thing. Uh, just exploring, getting resources and whatnot. Uh, I have to get the bank here in a second. Not, not in real world, just drop off all the stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna do a couple more of those uh, exploration things just to, or chest things to see if I can get more uh, stuff. But otherwise, yeah, I'll mostly be doing quests if I can find them. And yeah, that's really the only uh, thing I really have to say today, or at least for now. Uh, so yeah, otherwise. Here we go.
one would find me. Quickly now, come inside. Cultists have knocked the stars from our sky, and we have to put them back before all Lord Set's memories are taken for good. Oh, drat. Look, it's easier to explain once we're inside the mnemonic planisphere. That's where Lord Set stores his memories by... Well, it's just easier to show you first. Yes, exactly. You're a quick learner. I need someone who can fight off these cultists and help me return the stars to the planisphere sky. Please, you have to help us. This task is of the most vital importance. stars for millennia. Do not concern yourself. Yes, much easier to explain now. This is the mnemonic planisphere where Sotha sealed memories take the form of stars. We need your help to reclaim the stars that have fallen and place them back in the sky. If not, all shall be lost. All this knowledge! Sotha Seal's memories are our most important source of inspiration, of discovery. Without them, the Clockwork Apostles will be lost, stagnant and unguided. Please, for the sake of our most sacred knowledge, you must help. Oh, thank you for understanding what this means to my order. I need you to gather the primary stars belonging to the points of our constellations. Once enough stars are returned to the rightful place, the rest should fall into ranks. Eventually. <laughs> With this! Now, this device has a very fancy, proper name, but I simply call it the Star Scooper. Use it to gather the stars you see floating around the halls, and bring it back here to the astronomer. He'll know what to do next. Questions? Let's say there's a memory that Lord Set wishes to store. First, he turns the memory into a star, which forms in an associated constellation chamber. A powerful spell will form in the Mage's Wing, a great victory in the Warriors. Exactly so. It then travels to the planisphere center where we teach the star its place in the sky. We send it to a forming room if Lord Set wishes to access the memory, or for apostles to study from. Each star has wisdom to share. Well, that would certainly complicate things. Lord Set still remembers, but in a distant way. He can analyze these memories rationally without their emotional attachments clouding his divine judgment. At least, that's what the astronomer told me. Astronomer is the title given to the caretaker of the planisphere. Astronomer, stars, you know. The current astronomer has been around almost as long as the Clockwork City has. The blessings of a god really can do wonders for your lifespan. Why, I'm his apprentice. Sorry, should have led with that. He only recently chose me as his replacement, though I'm not sure this is a position you can just retire from, if you catch my drift. I suppose even a god's blessing can only last so long. Oh, all a matter of perspective here in Clockwork, age and whatnot. I assure you I've always been quite diligent in my studies, and the astronomer says I show promise. Well, I mean, he hasn't outright said that to me, but I just get that feeling.
to the astronomer. You're in for a real treat. Not many get to witness this. Oh dear, that's not good. That's not good at all. Sorry, but I have to go check on something. The astronomer will explain. Six stars refuse to answer my call, and the primary constellations remain incomplete. Their instability threatens the integrity of the entire planisphere. Unless returned, I fear all memories will be lost, even to the clockwork god himself. The planisphere was created as an extension of Lord Set's consciousness. Connected, yet apart. An endless sky of divine knowledge, perfectly preserved. We must protect the planisphere at all costs. We must help the stars remember. Memories are fragile, easily broken, easily swayed. My powers of guidance and preservation are not so easily replicated. The cultists seek to control but only corrupt. I must stay here to keep the constellations stable. It is up to you. Go to the calibration guides located upon the platforms which surround us. Use them to guide the missing stars back to their rightful place in the sky. My apprentice will show you how. 
I see questions are burning within you. Ask, and I may answer.
You must use the calibration guide to show the st I know her devotion.
think of where the stars and the constellations aren't. Not where they are. That's where you want to direct the corrupted stars to. what was inside those stars. Let's have a look, shall we? Fragment and memory of Lord Set speaking to someone. This must have been what the cultists were looking for. Stewardship of my memories carries a high price for all of us. One that you must pay willingly. Wait, was that the astronomer? He was so young! And with hair! Not half bad looking either. want to learn how to perform the spell.
to overwrite the memories with your own. Of course, my lord, but will it hurt? You will not remember. That doesn't sound very good. What happened in this memory? We've collected all the memory fragments we need. Let's head back to the Planisphere Center so we can watch the whole thing. Now that we've returned the stars and recovered the memory fragments, the astronomer can use the nemograph here to play the full memory back. I'm rather curious about its contents. We need to be able to reform memories at a moment's notice. After all, apostles often travel from the Brass Fortress to research Lord Set's thoughts. This nemograph translates the starlight into a visual form. I just know it's him. It looks like he's receiving some sort of boon from Lord Set. But I don't understand why that would be important to the cultists. I doubt you can easily replicate the powers of a god, even with the memory of the spell. Stewardship of my memories carries a high price for all of us. One that you must pay willingly. I understand. I'd sacrifice anything to serve you, my lord. Even my memory. Wait. The so sacrifices. Be it. His I'll give you the knowledge of this spell to bestow upon your successor when the time comes. Of course, my lord, but will it hurt? You will not remember. No! It can't be! Now you know the truth. It is time. You never told me of this sacrifice. My life, yes, I'll give it. But my mind. My whole being. Speak with her. I know my duty. My whole life has been devoted to this path laid before me. I know the risks. The repercussions to the planisphere should I refuse. The repercussions to my god. Why then? Why am I so scared? Manipulating the stars requires severe concentration. They're easily corrupted by stray thoughts, rendering them useless. Not having a memory must help ease that burden. The excitement of becoming an apostle. My frustration when so many doubted me. How nervous I was for my first kiss! To give it all away, I would lose more than my memories. I would lose myself. I know the astronomer's power is fading. I feel it. He needs to transfer his power, and soon. If he dies before another apprentice could be found... The Planisphere needs me. My god needs me. Can I really be so selfish? You're right. It's too late to turn back now. People depend on me. My god depends on me. Would you come with me? I may not remember you being there, but it would be a comfort all the same. Become the next astronomer. I give myself willingly to serve the chrononymic will as it has seen fit. So be it. I'll start the process now. Take care of the planisphere. And yourself as well, Amelie. Visitor. The mnemonic planisphere welcomes you, traveler. Due to the recent attack, we are not holding memory viewings. You'll have to return at another time. How strange. I feel a sense of gratitude towards you, though I'm not sure why. 
Ah, oh, so you have. You have the gratitude of the clockwork apostles. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must inspect the memories to see if they were damaged by the attack. You would be surprised how fragile they can be. I thank you once more for aiding us in our time of need. May your thoughts be clear and your heart ever oiled. Hmm. I know we haven't met before, but I feel a sense of familiarity with you. Odd how you sometimes get that feeling with strangers. The cultists have corrupted many stars in their search for control. I need time to restore the memories and guide them to their proper place in the planisphere sky. Hopefully, it shall not take me too long. There's not much I can do at the moment. My focus must go towards tending to the corrupted stars and protecting the planisphere from further damage. Until the integrity of these sacred halls are upheld, the cultists will just have to wait.
don't know. I always expected Clockwork City to be a bit more hospitable. We need not the grease of luxury to find our secrets here. Your mind must be familiar with the secret coast of winding and Might as well talk since I'm not going to be doing any more quests in this video. More like just getting rid of stuff now. Just my uh, if you're working in cloth, pre exit thing, whatever. I don't know, but um, that'll be. Well, I'm not doing any after just yet. Um, that's one thing that is frustrating, I guess, about this game is when you are doing quests and. Um, it has like multiple places you have to go, and it gives you like ten different uh, like locations for it. Just tends to get a little difficult, at least for me. I'm, uh, most everything looks the same in this game to me, so that's why I always look confused. And I'm also not great at all actually with puzzles, 
So those, that's what that was when I was running around in that little uh, planetarium place. That's for dreams, but oh well. Uh, let me go ahead and log out here uh, really quickly. But uh, I'm gonna, well, I, I'm off tomorrow, so I don't have to worry too much, but I just wish I could record a lot longer because I could do so much more. It's just I don't have the storage for it. So I could do it, I'm doing it like Minecraft and on for four hours without realizing it, you know? That's kind of what this game is to me. Uh, but, yeah. Otherwise, peace out.